For this question, we are given the graph of the function, and then we are going to determine its values. For the first one, we have the limit as x approaching to 1. And you see that there's no plus or minus sign right here. But it doesn't really matter in this case. Because right here, as you can see, this is the x-axis, and this is where the x is equal to 1. And you see, for this part of the graph, it is continuous. So, to do limit, it's actually very easy. When the function is continuous, we just look at x is equal to 1, and we go up, and you see the y value is equal to 2. That's all. This question right here, the answer is 2 for the limit. Limit is only tricky from the graph if the graph is, is discontinuous, just like this part right here. So of course we have this for the question. When x is approaching to 3, minus, first, let me indicate that this is x equal to 3, and when x is approaching to 3 minus, that means we are taking the left piece of the graph right here. So as you can see, when I go towards 3 from the left hand side, and before I hit 3, okay, I look for the y value. You see the y value is approaching to 1. And even though this is an open circle, but it's okay, because when we're talking about limit, x is never exactly the same as this number. So this right here, x is approaching to 3 minus, you can think about x is like 2.999. So once again, when I go towards 3 from the left hand side, before I hit 3, I look for the y value, the y value is about equal to 1. That's the limit right here, 1. On the other hand, if x is approaching 3 plus, that means I take the right piece of the graph. I coming, I'm coming from the right hand side. So I come from here, and before I hit 3, I look for the y value. You see the y value is approaching to 4. So right here, this is equal to 4, OK? And next, when the limit as x approaches to 3, and there's no plus or minus. In this case, we must check both when x approaches to 3 minus and x approaching to 3 plus. We must look at these two limits, the left limit and also the, the right limit. And you see, because these two limits are different, well, in that case, this limit does not exist. So I put on D and E for it. Once again, when there's no plus or minus, we look at both cases. We must make sure these two numbers are the same in order to have a limit. But since they are not the same, so the limit does not exist when x is approaching to 3. And the last part is f of 3 is equal to what? This right here is telling us that x is exactly equal to 3. And when the question is asking us for f of some number, we look for the solid circle. So when x is exactly equal to 3, we look at the solid circle, and you see the y value is right here, and the y value is equal to 3. So f of 3 is equal to this 3, because the y value is exactly equal to 3. So perhaps this is the quick way to do it. This is something that you should pay attention to. When the question is asking us f of some number, we pay attention to the solid circle. And then when the question is asking us for the limit, we try to look at the open circles and then pay attention to the direction. So this is it, and you can check out my next video for more example. That's it.